Yo, welcome Frony. So today I want to show you how you get the max value out of your Zoradoma Island Farm. The first thing you need to know is that Zoradoma Island is an open world dungeon, even though it is an island. So it will consume Abyssal Contract tokens if you kill monsters there. That means you want to have the best Abyssal Contract token efficiency possible. And the first way to reach this is by collecting 25 Ami Toys. This will then give you an additional Abyssal Contract token efficiency of 7%. The second thing you want to increase to get the highest value here is the item chance percentage that increases your drop chance. In that area, it's especially important. So you have to collect certain matches of army toys. You see right here, I dropped that one in the dungeon. This one is still missing. And once I get it, 1% extra. The same goes for Solent bonus, also really valuable on Sauradoma Island. Besides doing it via the Ami Toys, there's also a buff food that you should have running every time you visit the island. And this is the crab meat pie. It is giving 50% solent bonus and 10% token efficiency. Some people do like to use the equivalent that is giving more mastery points for your weapons. I would highly recommend you to not do so. Solent is a way higher bottleneck and you will get your weapon to max mastery no matter what. If it takes like a couple of days, it will not mean that you are like far behind. But if you do not have enough Solent, once you start crafting those epic books, getting your skills up to level 5, nah, you will realize how much Solent you will need every day. So always make sure you get the 50% here to supply your needs. And you will get a way higher power spike with leveling up your skills with that Solent rather than going in the additional mastery. Also, to make your time worthwhile, you want to get Sauradoma Island Scrolls. Those are those blue scrolls that are here in my inventory. And they will allow you to get additional quests for value and make sure that you are not taking any of the quests that require you to kill a giant this is slow and inefficient it is way better to refresh the quests as often as you need until you only have like drops from regular monsters or only a kill count for regular monsters and make sure you're getting the reward here of what you want sorry to interrupt but short self-promotion is needed Currently, 91.2% of the people watching the videos are not subscribed to the channel. So let's make a deal. If you learn something new in this video, you have to subscribe. So when we have when we are talking about the best farm spot to do this on the island, you will see here is the cave entrance. So you will enter the cave and right here where you can already see those people farming, this is the best spot to farm. So here on the map, that area right here is one spawn and that area here is one spawn. So you see how they're doing it. You have a tank, you have a healer. The tank um, and the healer are basically as a team gathering the whole spawn and the DPS are just AOEing it down. It's really efficient to farm if you're doing it like like this even though you don't have like maybe the best gear you can still farm about 10k tokens down in an hour if the spots are free and you also don't have to care for respawns you see they took that spawn right here then they go to the next spawn they aoe that one and vice versa it is really efficient to do it that way and to do it on that spawn and the good thing is all of your quests that you have rerolled the way i just explained they will be able to complete here because all the different kinds of monsters are spawning here so you do not even need to leave the area for completing all of your quests all the time just have to make sure that you care when it's becoming night because at night the area will turn into a pvp area and people like to clear it up because the waypoint right here that you're usually going to it will be locked at night and you cannot get there anymore if you don't know how the waypoint um, works i've made a special video explaining how to unlock it the only thing that you have left then if you get killed at night you can port to daybreak shore and then you have to swim all the way over here but be aware there's always people camping here trying to kill stragglers that try to come back and to make sure that you're always having enough of those contracts for these certain areas you will try to get precious blessing pouches as many as possible from all the resources that means whenever you're doing contracts you will try to pick one item then re-roll and continue until you find the pouches and then a pouch that's always an insta cop and you refresh and you try to go for the next pouches. That's how contracts are done. The next source is the Sundries Merchant, where you will have a weekly, where you can buy six of those things that always contain one. So it will give you a total of 24 scrolls every week. If you're going to the shop and you go here to the Ornate Coin Shop, you will see here you will have a monthly limit of precious blessing pouches. You always want to buy those as well. And now one special that not too many people know about. If you go to Castleton and you go to the arena, you will here find the Arena Sundries Merchant. 
And here with your arena coins, you can actually also purchase pouches. And to get the highest Lucent out of your Zoradoma Island farm, you will have to look at the crafting of those four chests. Those are using the Abyss currency, what you get every time you finish one of those contracts that we've talked about how you get the most. And here people often do mistakes and they just rush the item out of those boxes that they actually want, maybe for their gear. And this is a big mistake. So when we are here in the auction house in my recent sales, you can see that I've been selling lithographs here at an easy 1.4k profit uh, multiple times. And I've done this with the Abyss currency. So rather than just picking what I want, I was checking in the auction house, what are the values of those items that I can get and then turn them into litters for a big um, boost in Lucent. And then if I still want the cloak, it's easy peasy because I can buy it for like um, 600, right? And I can put the difference in my own pocket. Yeah, guys, that was it with the Zaura Doma Island Farm. If, if you still have any questions, just let me know in the comments. As always, I will try to answer everything in less than 24 hours. Cheers, guys.